example of uh, calculations with centripetal force. Centripetal force and uniform circular motion. Uh, 200 gram objects moving in a horizontal circle. I'll try to uh, give a little sketch of uh, what's going on here. So that's a circle. And out here at some point we have a, a 200 gram object. And it's connected by a uh, massless string. So a string here and in the center we've got a vertical tube. So this tube's going straight down. The uh, circle is horizontal and the uh, string comes out of the tube and at the end of the string we have 300 grams. So working with a couple of masses here, this 300 gram object has an acceleration of zero. It's not moving up, it's not moving down, and that tells us that the mg downward, 0.3 kilograms times 9.881 meters per second squared, that force downward is balanced by the tension in the string. So there's going to be tension in the string. We go over the tube here, let's say no friction there. So we'll have a tension in the string towards the center pulling on this object. And that tension is going to be our centripetal force. That tension is equal to mg. This mass is not moving up and down, so the tension just provides a balance for the weight and the tension is going to be our centripetal force. Um, so the radius of the circle is 40 centimeters. So 40 centimeters. That'll be part of our calculations. And we want to know what's the speed of this object moving in this circle. <coughs> so pretty direct calculation. Um, the centripetal force is equal to the mass of the object in motion and then the centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. So we can uh, do this calculation with the numbers that were given here. So 0.3 times 9.81 that's our centripetal force. What should I use for the M over here and MV squared over R? Well, the mass that's in motion in the circle is the m in mv squared over r. That's 200 grams. So I use 0 0.2 kilograms. And then we have the unknown, the velocity squared. And we just are calculating speed here. The direction is always tangent to the circle. And then we have the radius. The radius needs to be in meters. So that's 0 0.4 meters. And we have our uh, one equation, one unknown here. Multiply 0 0.3 and 9.81. Multiply both sides by 0.4. Divide both sides by 0.2. And you um, come up with the number 5.88 is V squared. You can't stop there. We want to know the value for V. So you take a square root of both sides and 2.42 meters per second is the velocity number, the speed number. 2.42 meters per second. The hanging mass provides the centripetal force. Uh, that force being in carried by the tension in the string. Up here this tension pulls inward centripetal towards the center of the circle. So the centripetal force is equal to the weight that's hanging here. The mass that's moving in the circle is 0.2 kilograms, v squared over the r, and pretty direct we can calculate the, um, the speed. Um, something to think about for a future chapter. What would happen if someone would come in here with their hand and pull down on this uh, system? Increase the tension in the string. The tension is going to have to increase it to uh, fight the pull that's going down here. Just think about that. You'll encounter uh, situations like this of uh, it's going to change the radius, change the speed, and encounter that in a future chapter. Oh, keep practicing.